Hi everyone, I'm Meg Fur, and today we're going to be looking at uh, these four things behind us. These are all pulse limiters and in particular they are one tick pulse limiters. So I've got four of them here and um, they are for bedrock. Some of these will work in Java as well, some won't. Um, but yeah, they, these are for bedrock and they're really, really useful for, um, for a lot of different contraptions where you need to get a one tick pulse output. Make sure your timings are right on, you know, piston feed tapes or something like that. Um, so you can use any of these designs that fit into your builds. Okay, so let's dive straight in. So the first pulse limiter we're going to look at is this one. We're going to place a repeater. We place a block with two redstone dust after it. One more block and redstone dust on top of that. Turn back and we've put a sticky piston here with a block on it. And the idea is that when, a block, when the block extends, piston pushes, the block extends out to here, that will break this dust. So the connection between here and here is broken and that limits the signal. So I can put my output um, just here. So we use a piston and my input is just here. So pop a redstone block down there and you'll see the piston fires once. Um, if you put it down here, it won't work because this block is powered by the dust on the floor anyway. So um, that won't work. That stays extended. So make sure you put your piston um, or whatever your output is from the redstone dust, or you can extend it out, of course, to somewhere else if you want. So that's the first one. And that's the one I've typically been using in my builds. Um, it's kind of a bit big, really, and obviously it's noisy as well. Um, so, you know, but it works. It's very effective. So the next one I want to show you is um, probably one of the most common ones that you'll see around. And we put a hole in the floor with a sticky piston in it, a block on top, a redstone dust in front of it. That redstone dust is going to power the block it's sitting on, which will power the piston under here. Take a repeater output and our device is going to go there. So now if I power this, in fact, let me pop that down and you see the piston goes up for one tick. And that's because as this extends, it obviously moves this block that breaks the connection between the redstone dust and the repeater here. Okay, the next one um, is, is a really interesting one, um, but probably a bit noisy for most purposes, but it's actually really cool. And it's a, a very interesting way as well of getting a single pulse out of an observer because bells have a very strange property that they have a, a data toggle and it toggles every time the bell rings. So the first time it goes from zero to one, second time it goes from one to zero and the observer can detect that change. So again, that's my input. If I place the redstone block down and you can see I get a one tick pulse out. What you'd normally expect from an observer is that when I unpower this, the observer will fire again, but it doesn't because the bell isn't ringing. So you get one tick each time. So that's pretty cool, but uh, you get to listen to your bell ringing all the time. And then the last one, I I've, I've actually not seen this one around. Um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not going to claim the credit for inventing it. It's, it's really, really simple. But I think the reason I've not seen it is because it doesn't work on Java. And I don't know why it doesn't work on Java. It um, feels like it ought to, but it doesn't. So here we go. This is my input. And the idea here is I'm going to power through this comparator. That's going to extend my piston. But at the same time, I'm going and powering this repeater. And with my comparator in subtract mode with a light lit, they'll turn it off again. And because there's one tick delay through the repeater, I'll give me a one tick pulse. There we go. So that's four pulse extenders. Actually, one more thing. This one um, obviously has a bit more delay in it as well because you've got the repeater, you've got the bell, and you've got the observer. So it is a bit slower than the others. And I can probably show you that if I, uh, not there. If I run some redstone between these two, 
and we'll see the pistons extending. You can see the 1V bell is a little bit slower. But yeah, horses for courses. Um, any of those will work for you. Um, they'll be better in different situations. And I hope you enjoy it. And if you did enjoy it, why not leave me a like? Think about subscribing to the channel. And I'll hope to see you next time.